I had no clue this exists and is being built. Buenas noches from Zamboanga City. I'm walking down an alleyway right next to the hotel where I'm staying. Tomorrow the journey to go home begins. So tonight I'm just gonna try and get some healthy vibes because it's been a while. So we're going to the gym. Yo. Rad my stuff. Yo. Sometimes. Hey, remember man, take it easy on me, huh? Take it easy on me. So I was working out and then that's Cyril over there and it turns out he's a CrossFit trainer. And this over here is Ian, local friend from Zamboanga. And so, uh, one second, Al, right? Yeah. Cool, so they already did CrossFit earlier, but just for good vibes and to try and pump up my life here, they're gonna put me through one session, so wish me luck. Here. Yeah. Eight reps, place here. your numbers together, yeah. stick them together, yes, like that. Go. Like yeah. Go. One. Two. Let's go. Let's go. Last two. Last one. Oh. Yes. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Hey, you go, no slacking. <laughs> come on now. Come on now. <laughs> nice job, man. You got one more. You got this. Here we go. Go. For the glory, Al. For the glory. How do you say Chavacano pa capoy? Cancel. Cancel. Don't show me cancel. Let's go. Diamond push ups. Here we go, bro. We don't get we don't get we don't get cancel in Zamboanga. Stand reps. Oh gosh. Can do it really? Yeah. I don't know how much you're gonna see of this, but I'm probably gonna edit it to make me look really strong. <laughs> This one. Okay, so just drop down. No need to control. Okay. Three. Up one. Two. Three. Four. Squeeze the abs. How much longer? <laughs> you have ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Oh my god. Eight, you can do it, man. Nine. Eight. That was a good one. Yeah. Yes, sir. Great job. All right. Nice one. And the moral of the story is people work out at night and I'm wrong. I have been getting so lucky with the weather on this trip. LM Hotel, that literally connects to where the gym is. It's across over there, it's a part of the complex. If you stay here, you can go to the gym. It's awesome. Gotta pack up my motor. This is the most important part of the day here. Oh, I'm not Guapo in person, don't know it. <laughs> These are some of the friendly staff, say hello, morning. They, he just called me Guapo in person, but he's much more Guapo than me. You guys, some more bread, take care. All the staff here and people, really good vibes, so I'm just getting ready, we're taking a few photos, getting my arm guards. Don't forget about the gym. I was only on the bottom floor, there's actually more floors, there's even like, some sort of sky gym thing, climbing wall. Makes me want to come back just to gym and swim. Good place, good vibes. Thank you, Lama. It's gonna be a good morning.
I think it's going to be one of those days. Long drive ahead. I had no clue this exists and is being built because I came in at night the other day. You got to take a look at this. I'm looking forward to uh, coming back here in the future and seeing this done. It turns out this is going to be the biggest mosque in all of Southeast Asia. I'm not sure when it's going to be finished, but some of the guys up there were telling me possibly two years from now. So, wow. It's really a work of art. It's really like, it's beautiful. Some of the guys around here said I could possibly contact, I think it's the Sadiq Islamic Foundation and maybe get a proper tour in the future. Wow, all right, back to the highway. You want to know just how big Zambonga city is? Look at the signages for kilometers on the side of the road. The one before that said M, one kilometer, was for Barangay Muti. And now it's transitioned to T, the next barangay. They kilometer the barangays, not the next municipality, which is Ipil. Just past the arch, I'm in Zamboga Sabuga and I knew it earlier. I saw Ipo that's next, it's the capital. You go through Tungawan and there's other Tilim first, so many municipalities in this province. 85 kilometers from Zamboga city center to the edge of the city, which brings you to the new province. Let's go. Americano and a giant pineapple shake. Life is good. What's it going on? Do you do Boss Cafe? Yes, Boss Cafe. Boss Cafe. Stuck by the car, do you? Thank you, Al. Boss Cafe, right down from. There it is, the obelisk. There it is, Boss Cafe. Highly suggest their shakes. All their flavors of shakes are real. That was delicious, that was big, that was affordable. Feeling a bit more fired up. It's already 2.30 in the afternoon, it's so hot right now. Let's keep going.
beautiful little driveway. I'm about four kilometers from the center of Boog. And I saw a farm to table restaurant cafe signage, so I turned off. Let's check it out. All right, so this place is called Badsboro Cafe, and it's a giant, like, 300 hectare farm in Boog. And Kuya over here, who's <laughs> he's videoing me as we go. That's awesome. We're gonna go check out their lettuce because they grow their own lettuce here, which is what these giant, kind of massive-looking little greenhouse things on the drone are. And I ordered a garden salad, which will have this lettuce in it. Thanks, bro. All right. Nice, man. So is this hydroponics? I guess so. Nice. So if you know me, you know I love gulai and vegetables. So I'm stoked to see some hydroponic lettuce and this massive farm. Uh, they told me as well, if you see in the drone, when you drive in on the driveway, there's a side there, I think they've planted different fruits and more vegetables. Uh, their menu looks pretty, pretty solid. I actually ordered hamanado. I think it's like hamanada, right? Like big, it's like pineapple, sugary pork. Oh yes, okay. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool place. Uh, is there some sort of gazebo at the back? I might check it out later, but let's just go hang out, wait for the food and eat first. Nice. So dope. Thank you, Salama. What's this called again? It's green pineapple pudding. Cool. Thanks, Perfect. There it is, in all its glory. Pork with a whole bunch of sweetness from pineapples. Hamanado is usually something to eat in like fiestas. It's like that glorious, massive hunk of meat that everybody wants. Um, we have fruits, a little bit of oranges, apples, some grapes, watermelon, and then the lettuce that you just saw. Their drinks are extra massive here. Look at this iced coffee. It is huge. Uh, I love the open air concept. Very relaxing. I'm gonna chill and drink this for a bit and then I might pop over again to that gazebo. I haven't seen it yet. bit of rain starting to come down so we have to make this quick but cool gazebo for the second floor looks like a closed room at the top little function hall they actually have a firing range here too so if you're into shooting something you can get it up to and then they said they're creating some sort of ponds maybe for tilapia I don't know or some sort of fish down below that's what you would have seen in the drone yeah it's really peaceful here I like the vibe. Definitely worth stopping and the lettuce, the salad was good, full of good stuff. I'm gonna get a giant super red velvet stuffed cookie. Finish my drinks, power on. Lama, thank you. <laughs> This is Kuya JR, bro. And say meaning Sidla. Sidla, one second. Sihak, bit of a one. Oh, it's like Sika. Oh, Sika. Oh, Sika. Oh, like, like bright, bright. Oh, bright, bright. There we go. Sidla Bog. <laughs> and it was just our right? Oh, Bagulang. Bago? Lang. Bago? Oh, Sabay sa Ipil. Ah, same, so just the other day. Yes, oh. I just missed their street dancing and their RL, but 
Now we know. Sidlak is like sea gum. I see gum. Like any bread. I'm gonna hang out here more with someday. It's really a big place. Great stopover in Bog. But we gotta keep powering on. Pagadian. We'll see you in an hour and a half. Down, a lot happening on a Friday night down by the port here in Pagadilla and just driving through looking for some food. I'm gonna find somewhere to crash quickly, just an overnight. Well, there is one window here in the CR, and I think I actually have hot water. 777 pesos for an overnight. It's comfortable, it's all good. It's cozy, why not? See you tomorrow morning for Pagadilla. hear a lot of birds in this church. Welcome to Tukaran. Uh, it's the final town in Zamonga do Sur before we start jumping through different provinces. Uh, this is called the Our Lady Star of the Sea Parish. And interesting, I don't know if there's any sort of relation here to the fact this is a coastal town because there's even like a giant kind of clam shell here, a statue in the middle. Everything kind of seems a little bit in relation to the sea, even the blue color. Yeah, I uh, never really popped around here. It's about 9.15 in the morning, so why not? Maybe check out the market or find a coffee or get some late breakfast. Hello. Hello. This is Ate. Is here in I am, and this is Ate Lin. Uh, uh, yes. And Mangotana, na Karandirius uh, Palenki. Na a. Uh, na a. Uh, and uh, uh, Adapte. Na Daghan. Oh, Daghan? Uh, uh, Daghan. Hey, did uh, Diri sa Tukuran, wala like delicacy or specialty or. Mm, fish lang kasi ang ano dito. Ah, like it's. Mga isda lang, uh uh. Sakto. Uh uh uh. That's right, it's like even the church is the sea. Star oh, of the sea. oh, it's star of the sea. Kasi uh uh. Daghang mananagat di diri. Ah, yes. Salamat, uh -huh. Ate Lin. Okay. Okay, nice meeting you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm paying, I'm paying. Uh, next meeting soon. <laughs> Just cruising around inside the market right now looking for carandirias. Seen a lot of guinemus, dried fish. Where is the carandiria section? Oh, they have puso, hanging rice. Backside near gate two, I found the carandiria section. There's a whole bunch here. Let's check them out. <laughs> nice mga karinderia. Kumo sa ano? Ati mo pangalan? Ati mo pangalan? Alvin. Alvin. Alvin Kugo. Are you from Tuguran? Yes, sir. Nice. This is a nice karinderia. I really like this karinderia. They have a lot of gulai, they have mango, ampalaya. Ano siya isda? And well? Yeah. Oh, nice. Sweet towel. So much. And. Oh, the new one. Uh, 
Mayol. M A Y O L. Yeah. Got it. Okay, cool. Nice. Make ourselves so and so. Ah, I'm in a very good mood. This is what I love about car interiors. Thank you, Pia. Not only do you have a lot of things you can just select, and they're right there waiting for you to eat right away, but the vibes are always fun. There's so many cool locals around. This is called Mayo, this car in Mayo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mayo. Uh, the the fish the fish selection isn't as good today around the I looked at the other car interiors as well because uh, it's been so hanging, but the gulai and mongo and itlog and lanka selection is on. So here's the thing about traveling in the Philippines now. 10 years ago, you go to small provincial towns and they wouldn't have coffee shops with real coffee. It was just stick and powders. Now everywhere you go, you can always find somewhere. So after the current year, cook coffee hit, and let's keep powering on. It's crazy windy right now. I'm blowing back and forth as I drive. We just crossed into Lano del Norte right away, Sultan Nagadimaporo. We're actually going to go into Lano del Sur. We're going to cross into Maginda now, maybe North Cotabato. The provincial hopping begins if I can make it to the wind. Look at this. Bring it on. 